This healthy living tip is brought to you by the Christ Hospital Health Network. Hi, I'm Dr. Mannion. I work as a medical oncologist at the Christ Hospital. Uh, prostate cancer is the most common uh, cancer uh, among men in the United States. Uh, about one, somewhere between one in six and one in seven men during their lifetime will acquire prostate cancer. Uh, it's the second leading uh, cancer killer uh, of men in the United States. Prostate cancer is very age dependent. Men in their 40s have a very low risk of prostate cancer, but their risk increases as they get older. Uh, men in their 70s have about a tenfold higher risk of getting prostate cancer as compared to men in their 50s. There are some symptoms that can happen, uh, sometimes urinary problems uh, where they uh, have trouble making urinary stream or feel like they can't empty their bladder fully. These can be early signs of prostate cancer. The best way a man can prevent prostate cancer is uh, by regularly seeing their doctor, uh, talking to their doctor about uh, possible screening for prostate cancer, uh, also leading a healthy lifestyle uh, by eating a low-fat diet, a diet uh, higher uh, in vegetables and fruits, and with uh, regular exercise. Hello, I'm Dr. Reed Shank from the Christ Hospital. I'm director of the Department of Urology, and I practice urology at the Christ Hospital. Prostate cancer screening is a very controversial issue right now in the United States because of some public health recommendations that have come out from the government. However, it seems as if most physicians are following standard rules that have been recommended for prostate cancer screening for men. That's basically over the age of 50, they should receive a digital rectal examination and a prostate-specific antigen blood test. In addition, if you have a family history of prostate cancer, the recommendation is that that starts at age 40 and continues on through the remainder of your life. Prostate cancer is typically diagnosed when a primary care physician or an internist does an examination, a digital rectal examination, and finds an abnormality on that examination. Very often, it may also be highlighted by an elevation in the prostate-specific antigen, which is the blood test used to identify prostate cancer. Once that's occurred, they are then typically referred to a urologist, like myself. And we would take them and do some diagnostic studies to evaluate their prostate, specifically prostate ultrasound. And with the prostate ultrasound, we can do biopsies of the prostate, which is a very minor procedure, but gives us a lot of information because we have specimens that we can send to pathology, which they can then analyze and give us the answer as to whether there's prostate cancer present or not. Typically, when we make a diagnosis of prostate cancer, a urologist will sit down with the patient and go through all the options that are available that are most appropriate for them, depending on what the stage or the extent of the disease is. If it's a localized disease, there'll be a discussion of what local treatments may be. If it's extensive disease where it's already spread outside of the prostate, a more systemic therapy would be involved. One of the things we've been doing at Christ Hospital is developing what's called the Prostate Cancer Collaborative which is a unique organization which entails the disciplines of medical oncology, radiation oncology, and of course uro urology and urologic surgery, where we all come together and try to formulate plans according to guidelines that are established nationally on how to treat prostate cancer the best way. Even though there's a lot of prostate cancer diagnosed in the United States, and particularly in Cincinnati as well, it's not a death warrant like a lot of cancers are. We have good treatments, you have to have a good consultation with the urologist and with the Prostate Cancer Collaborative. It gives us the opportunity to draw off the other disciplines to help make an de informed decision on the case of the patient. There's a, a lot of optimism that there's good ways to treat prostate cancer, which we need to enlist in, in uh, treating patients. It's not just one treatment uh, for one man at a time. It's a variety of choices, and we help them make the best choice for that individual patient. I'm Dr. Rodney Geyer, uh, Medical Director of Radiation Oncology at the Christ Hospital. What is high dose rate brachytherapy? High dose rate brachytherapy is an innovative way of delivering radiation internally into the body, directly to the tumor. HDR brachytherapy is used in prostate cancer, gynecologic malignancies, breast cancer, uh, it's used in uh, some of the GI cancers, and can also be used in uh, lung cancer. So it has a wide application. But this is the first time HDR brachytherapy has been used here in the Cincinnati area for prostate cancer. Well, the traditional radiation that we're currently using and is used across the country is uh, seed implant radiation, where we put radioactive seeds inside the patient. 
and that also has the benefit of being right up against the tumor and minimizing side effects to other organs. The advantage of HDR brachytherapy allows us to give radiation that is just given temporarily. Therefore, we don't have to worry as much about radiation safety issues for the family after the procedure's been completed. HDR brachytherapy is, is new to, to Cincinnati, really. It's, it's, been in, in, it's been in use across the, the country for several years, and we're now bringing it to Cincinnati and applying it to prostate cancer, specifically at Christ Hospital. So it is, this is a new uh, step forward for the city. This is done as an outpatient, so the patient would uh, be able to go home the same day they get this treatment. We often couple this with uh, external radiation. So this, ra this is a way of, of, of giving an additional amount of radiation, highly focused, which enables us to help the patient uh, battle their uh, cancer. The Christ Hospital has a dedicated HDR suite within its cancer center. This allows us to offer a full range of brachytherapy services to patients for a number of cancers. Specifically, it is outfitted with uh, anesthesia, so that if we have to use anesthesia for uh, patients, we have that opportunity. So it's really a, uh, an, an operating room with an HDR suite uh, for our community. This therapy allows Christ Hospital to really be an innovator in terms of offering treatment that's convenient and highly effective for our community. To schedule an appointment with a prostate cancer specialist, call 513-721-7373.